It's been said that education no longer takes place behind closed doors. Our students' learning is increasingly influenced by and involved with the broader community. Engagement of students, families, staff, and communities has been identified as one of the six strategic directions of the Waterloo Region District School Board. This school is fantastic. My daughter has been very engaged in the school. It was great to have teachers along the way that we could have frank conversations with. And he feels very engaged and connected in the building. Communication with the teachers has been, has been so pivotal in, in helping both of my girls become better people. Brandon is a student who has benefited from unique and supportive parent engagement that has contributed to his success beyond expectations. Well, my wife and I uh, adopted Brandon and his sister uh, about six years ago. We knew that he was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. So we knew that um, there would be some issues with regard to Brandon in terms of his socialization and learning abilities and things like that. I mean, he was diagnosed at one point with Tourette syndrome, uh, with ADHD, which he certainly has. He probably is somewhere on the um, autism spectrum, um, Asperger syndrome or, or somewhere along there. When Brandon got to senior school, what worked very well for him was the fact that his teacher there was not only very skilled and very personable and very warm and wanted to build a relationship with Brandon and all his other classmates, but also had a, a, an interest, a, a zeal really, for technology in the classroom. Well, it was a really good class because we got to use technology and, and I love technology. We read books and went to trips. Brandon's strengths were his ability to make connections with adults. Um, he had a real passion to get to know uh, the people around him and, and build relationships. His strength was technology. He enjoyed using technology and wasn't intimidated when using it. And uh, he had a passion for uh, just being fun and having fun and, and getting involved and being physical within uh, the learning environment. Well, one of the things we used with GPS is geocaching, which was fun. Mm -hmm. We used iPads and computers. One tool in particular that worked well for Brandon uh, was a wiki that we set up. Okay, a wiki is a program like Google Docs. It's like a blog, but with more than one person. It worked really well because it meant that uh, the teachers could communicate with us without fear of a handwritten note getting lost on the way home, you know, which, which would often happen. It worked well for Brandon because it helped keep him on task, it helped keep him organized, and it also became a kind of um, repository or, or showcase where he, could, where he could put his work. In a sense, it was just like a, a big virtual blackboard, but it was really, really effective in helping him consolidate his thinking and be successful with that, with that project. Tangle. Tangle. Go for a walk. With Brandon, it was really important to give some, some really good feedback to him in the classroom about his learning needs, his social emotional needs um, on an ongoing basis. But also it was really important to give feedback to his parents and to support the learning that go takes place at home. Support that could allow us to relax a little bit. It meant that we could recover and then we could come back to Brandon kind of restored. And, and that, that, was, that was very much appreciated building that relationship with Mark and Melanie, getting to know what makes them tick along with what makes Brandon tick, and also listening to them and listening to what has worked in the past. Getting input from Brandon's parents really helped us making those instructional decisions that we had to make for Brandon's learning. He's now in high school and he's taking academic courses uh, with the support that he receives through the Phoenix program and he's doing really well. He's getting high 70s, uh, 80s in lots of those courses. He's um, fallen in love with horticulture and the, the different animals that they have at KCI and I think he has his eye on that as a, as a possible career for him now in the future. I usually go outside at the end of the time of class and I feed the chickens and let them out, take the eggs, but before that I put them in their pen. The goats, we have to give them baking soda so they can burp, so they don't die of too much pressure. I learn best by seeing, doing things, and ins instead of reading, or I'm more of a hands-on person. 
As I look back on this journey, I think that five or six years ago, we never would have thought that he could ever be functioning this well in high school. Where he has ended up now uh, is, is just great, and he's so supported, he feels so supported. So how many eggs did you end up getting? Five. You got five? What has impressed me the most are the teachers who are willing to kind of set aside a formulaic way of dealing with, with students and to really get to know him. For the most part, the people they're going to encounter along the way are going to be open, helpful, dedicated people. I, I think it's just a matter of uh, making sure that you get your concerns heard and those concerns will fall on receptive, um, appreciative ears.